traffic, Cessna 77041, we're taking runway 25, this will be a straight out departure, Corona. be in this plane oh. so so that we didn't have to go all the way up into the desert <laughs> thank goodness i know right because it's supposed to be like a hundred something degrees today so well right now we're kind of like snaking around through the lax class bravo we're staying under it so we're like at altitudes of about 2500 2000 Ooh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized we can't go over Dodger Stadium. Oh. There's a TFR in place. Of course there's a TFR in place. I thought it was live tomorrow, but it's it's live today also. We're under the class Bravo. There's a TFR over there. El Monte's airspace is over there. And Van Nuys airspace is over there. Oh. So we're getting skinny. It was a mess. But it's okay. We'll go around it. Does it add more time or... Not too much, we just gotta kind of work our way under the shelf of Van Nuys, around the TFR, and then stay, stay under the Bravo. Oh, okay. Oh look, it's the Pasadena Bridge. This is where our friends Walter and Michelle live. And we're gonna be meeting them. Yeah. In just a day or so. It'll be awesome. We got the Hollywood sign there. Welcome to Hollywood. And there's the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, it looks so crazy. So empty. Oh, remember when we went there to watch Jamie Collum? Yeah, he was a guest with the Count Basie Orchestra. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're almost done threading the needle of LA airspace. Okay. About how far are we out? Not too much farther, probably about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, traffic at, uh, Santa Club. Oh, sorry. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> like, alright, 10 o'clock, here we go. I'm like, no, your other left, your other left. The other 10 o'clock. <laughs> We made it to Camarillo. <laughs> um, it was about an hour 15. We had to take a little jog around the TFR that popped up. Yes. We're gonna go get something to eat. Yeah. Here we go. Gotta refuel the pilots. Camarillo ground, Cessna 77041. We're Cessna 140 at Transient. Taxi for a northwestbound departure. Cessna 77401, Camarillo ground, runway 26. Taxi via Gulf 2, Gulf Alpha. Golf 2, Golf Alpha to runway 26 for 77041. Oops. What? I think we're on golf. Yeah, I was like, wait, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, uh, 041 was on Foxtrot there. We'll go over to golf. This is uh, 041, Roger. That's a non movement area, so you just enter from the non movement to Golf 2, Golf Alpha. Roger that. Golf 2, Golf Alpha from the non movement area. Thank you, 041. I always get lost here. 
Camarillo Tower says the 77041 short of 26 Alpha. We're ready to go for a northwestbound departure transitioning Oxnard. Cessna 77041, Camarillo Tower, right turn on through, runway 26, clear for takeoff. Runway 26, clear for takeoff, 77041. Guys, we're back in the air. Well, we're, we're en route. We're over Sandy Inez right now. Yeah. It's like a classic emergency stop, right? Oh my gosh, yes. You remember when the door came off? <laughs> that was insane. So we're about 30 minutes from uh, San Luis Obispo. Once, we, once we're there, we're going to get the transponder worked on. Once that's all oh, fixed. Stop it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Lots of traffic. So once the transponder is all fixed up, we're just going to hop over to Oceano, which is a few miles away and camp there. <gasps> and maybe we'll see Willoughby Johnson. I'll bet Willoughby Johnson is still there. Oh, I hope so. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, we are exactly 30 minutes from San Luis Obispo. Got the transponder swapped in and uh, everything checked out. So now we're going to hop over to Oceano, which is just about eight miles away from here, because um, we're going to camp there tonight so that we can meet our friends up here tomorrow yeah. to do some more camping. Can't wait. Yeah. And if you guys ever need your plane fix or whatever, these guys are awesome. Yeah, very friendly, accommodating avionics shop. Highly recommend San Luis Avionics. All right, we're going to get in the air. We'll see you in Oceano. We are here at our first stop of the trip. Well, our, <gasps> our second actual airport we landed at, but this is our first like overnight stop mm -hmm. at Oceano. Which is one of our favorite places to be anyway, because it's so much cooler. It really is. <laughs> yeah. God, it was so hot. We've been here before. We yeah. met Willoughby Johnson here. We did, and I really hope that we get to see him tonight. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> and we discovered they actually added a new uh, telescope. So Ooh. if we have good visibility tonight, hopefully we'll see some stars. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Very nice. And well, you can hear the ocean from here. We can. That sounds inviting. It's calling us. Well, let's set up camp. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Oceano. We are. With uh, very spicy tacos in our oh belly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we went and got tacos. Said, do you want hot salsa? We're like, yeah, we yeah. have hot salsa. Boy, that was a mistake. Oh my god, was it. <laughs> Luckily, we have to cram ourselves into a small airplane and fly. <laughs> into 100, 100 plus degree temperatures. <laughs> Always good to have some spicy tacos first. Yeah. I just watch until I see this uh, needle just start to indicate about 100. Do you not ever want to fly when the temperature is like really low for the oil? No, because 
if it's too cold, it's going to put a lot of stress to suddenly ask the engine to make full power before the oil's warmed up and completely circulated throughout the system. I learn something new every time we go on a trip. Me too. The more you know. Da, 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 da. Oceano traffic, Cessna 77041, we're taking runway 29, this will be a downwind departure, Oceano. She tried to keep me home Well, she broke my nose and hid my clothes But I continued to roam Then she finally hit my weak spot Threatened to throw my bottle out From the basement to the rooftop Everybody could hear me shout Give me that wine Oh, give me that wine Yes, give me that wine Cause I can't cut loose without my juice I gotta have hot Lucy when I go walk it, you know well, one big cross of the avenue, a big car knocked me down. Well, I was stretched out, tied up traffic, and crowds came for blocks around. Now the police were searching my pockets before they sent me to the funeral parlor. But when one of those cops took my bottle, Jack, I jumped straight up and commenced to holler. Give me that wine. Oh, give me that wine. Give me that wine. Because I can't get well without Muscatel. I only drink for medicinal purposes, any purpose true. Now you can take all those Hollywood glamour girls, Lana Turner, Rita Hayworth, Bridget Bardot, and Lucille Ball, and all them chicks, and line them upside the wall. Put a gigantic jug beside them and tell me to take my choice. Well, there'll be no doubt which one I chose the minute I raise my voice. Give me that wine. Yes, give me that wine. Well, chicks are fine, but I love my wine. Now some folks like money, some like to dance and dine. But I'll be happy what? if you give me that wine. Give me that wine. Unhand that bottle. Hello, flying friends. Hello. It's Sunday, and we had a great weekend camping with our friends. In, in Los Alamos. Yeah, it was really glamping to get down to it <laughs> yeah but we had some awesome food there was bells and there was the flatbread place and life of flatbread it was like bougie delicious food it so it was yum yeah it was a good little trip and now we're getting ready to uh hop on home yeah. so let's jump in let's go it was a great trip it was a great trip it was just a good chill glamping trip yeah Visibility maybe looks marginally better, but not too much. <laughs> I'm just so grateful that it's a lot cooler. I know. At least it's not 106 degrees. Do a little 
pirouette. Look for traffic. <laughs> Every time you say pirouette, I think of ballet. <laughs> San Diego's traffic, Cessna 77041. We're taking a runway 26. This will be a downwind departure. San Diego's. Power's set. Pressure's good. Temperature's good. Hey, girl. Oh, hello, Crosswind. <laughs>